Hey everyone, Bob Downey here. We're gonna go over a braid to fluorocarbon knot. Uh, the one that I tie 95% of the time these days is the FG knot. Um, there's several ways to tie it. I'm just gonna show you the way I do it. Um, so I start by sitting on the butt of my rod and you gotta get your braided line tight. So I tighten it up down to the tip and I hold my old FG knot in my mouth. And that keeps this braid tight. And that's a really big key with the FG knot, is keeping both your braid tight and your leader line tight. So here we got my leader line. Um, and I wrap this a couple times around those fingers just to keep it tight as well. Um, lay it over the top. And then you start your weaves. And so you're gonna go under and away from you to start under and towards you for your second wrap under and away under and towards and you're gonna do that I do it 24 times you can do it probably less on bigger lines and more on smaller lines but I try and do 24 times and each time I'm holding that knot in between my weaves to try and keep it tight and you just want to make sure that you're keeping both your main line your braided line tight and this leader line tight and basically what you're doing is creating what's up so there it slipped which is fine as long as you can get back to where you were You're basically creating a Chinese finger trap and that braid is gonna lock down on your leader. And if you tie it right and you get these weaves right, that leader is not gonna go anywhere once you cinch it down. And I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. So once you get your 24 wraps, you can let go of everything out of your mouth and you can release tension, release tension here. And then you're gonna start your half hitches. So I hold below the line here and hold your braid and your leader line together. And a half hitch is simply a fancy word for an overhand knot. And so you're gonna tie your first one, cinch it all the way down to your weaves And you want to make sure you're going over both your braid and your main leader line tag end. And there's your second one. And after that, and cinch those down, grab your leader line and your braid and pull them as tight as you can. And you're going to see that braid change color. It's actually going to get darker. So this was kind of a lighter green color as we pulled. It got to be a darker green. And when it starts changing color like that, it's biting in. To your leader line and after you first do those two half hitches pull it real tight you can cut your leader line as close as possible to your weaves and you're still going to have your braid tag end here and you want to do a few more half hitches after that so i typically do four of them one two, three, four. And these half hitches can be almost the biggest bugger. But once you get it down, they can go pretty quick. So there we got four half hitches above our cutoff leader line. You can see we're pulling really tight. That leader line is basically stuck in that braid. And lastly, I'll cut that tag end off and leave a little bit of a, um, I guess like a, I don't know, a centimeter or so. And I'm gonna burn the end of that. If you don't burn the end of it, it this part's gonna fray over time and you're gonna end up with a bunch of wispy braided lines um, flying through your guide. So 
I wet my two fingers and I cover up that whole knot. And the reason I wet them is just so as that flame gets closer it's not as hot on my fingers. Put that braid right down in the bottom part of the flame. You'll see it start to burn. Burn about halfway. If you burn it too much, which I may have just burned it too much, we'll see. If you burn it too much, your line's gonna break when you pull it. it looks like we were just about right there. Um, and by burning it, you know, it's just like when you cut a rope and burn the end of it, it melts the tips and that thing's not gonna fray as much on you. But give it one more last pull and then you're good. And I typically will pull off, you know, um, depending on the situation, if I'm using it on a bait caster and flipping, I might do, you know, an arm length and a half. If I'm throwing a drop shot, I typically will do three arm lengths, which is about 18 feet. Um, so depending on the situation, I'll, I'll go longer or shorter. Cut it off, tie your bait on, you're good to go. So that's the FG knot, the braid to fluorocarbon. It takes some time to learn, um, but if you put the time in, that's the skinniest, strongest knot. Uh, I think that you're going to find out there today.